Our vision is that exercise becomes a routine part of care for people experiencing mental illness. So people with severe mental illness um, actually face a reduced life expectancy compared to the general population of, of around 15 years. So often the way we treat um, or conceptualise mental illness is we focus on, on the mental health symptoms and there's a, a divide between the mental and physical health care of people experiencing mental illness. Mental disorders are, are not just mental, they have a systemic effect on the body. People with a mental illness, are, about 50% have cardiovascular disease, about 75% are at risk of developing cardiovascular disease in the future. They're, they're around 85% more likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to the general population without a mental illness. When we think about treatment, it's really important that we address the, the mind and the body and so we're actually delivering interventions that, that can address the, the physical health consequences of the mental illness as well as the symptoms themselves. So I started working in mental health purely by accident. Um, I got a call from my father who was working in finance at a private psychiatric hospital asking if I wanted to come and, and open the gym and so I turned up and they handed me a dress alarm um, put me in the gym and I spent the next few weeks with my hand hovering over that button thinking that patients were, were going to be violent and of, of course we know that, that people with a mental illness are actually ten times more likely to be victims of, of violence as opposed to perpetrators. So the first work we did in this area, um, we took inpatients with severe post-traumatic stress disorder and we randomised half to receive usual care which is a, a combination of talking based therapies and medication and the other half to receive usual care in addition to a structured exercise program. Um, what we found was quite clear that by adding exercise to usual care, it had a significant effect at improving people's symptoms. Um, not just symptoms of PTSD, but also symptoms of, of depression and anxiety, and it also improved their physical health simultaneously. Together with a group of colleagues, we recently reviewed the literature around the effect exercise has on depression. Um, and we're also interested in the, the potential protective effects that exercise and maintaining fitness can have. Um, so we looked at data from over one million people um, and we divided them into three groups based on their fitness levels, so low, moderate and high fitness. Um, those in the low fitness group compared to those in the high fitness group were 75% more likely to have a diagnosis of depression. We're fortunate here in Australia that we have one of the most progressive physical activity referral schemes in the world. Um, if you have a chronic condition you can speak to your GP and you may be eligible for referral um, under Medicare to an exercise physiologist. An exercise physiologist can help motivate you to get moving.